minutes more. And Christy High, certainly real concern about India's neighbours as this growing death toll and infection rate continues to soar in India. Yes, as the outbreak worsens in India, infections are rising elsewhere in Asia, especially in Nepal. On Sunday, Nepal reported 7,137 new cases of the coronavirus, its highest daily tally so far. The government has been saying that the situation there is increasingly difficult. We have a statement from Nepal's Ministry of Health and Population. We'll bring it up for you. In it, it says this, quote, as the number of infections has increased beyond the control of the health system, it has become tough to provide hospital beds for care, unquote. Local lockdowns have been imposed in cities across Nepal, including Kathmandu, and that has prompted quite a number of people to leave the cities into the countryside, and that is raising concerns that that will facilitate the further spread of the virus. Nepal is also taking additional action. It has sealed the land border with India. It has also announced that it will ban all flights originating from India and to other nations starting from Wednesday midnight. And it's not just Nepal. A number of Asian nations from Pakistan to Thailand, etc., are all imposing restrictions, lockdowns in an effort to push back the pandemic. Buddhist monks in Sri Lanka pray for divine help to stop a deadly wave of the coronavirus that is sweeping across India. Buddhist monks and Buddhist people in this country want to share the, our sympathy with the people of India. India is grappling with the world's worst COVID-19 outbreak with record numbers of infections and deaths. And the crisis has spilled across the border into Nepal, where the capital is now under a two-week lockdown. Officials say the rate of infections there has increased beyond the control of the health systems in several districts, most of which are near the border of India. Before the restrictions went in effect, people crowded bus stations to get out of the city. There is fear of coronavirus. We may die of coronavirus if we stay here. So we are going back to our villages. In Sri Lanka, more than 100 areas across the country are under lockdown because of a jump of infections in April. Schools are closed and employers are being asked to limit the number of people reporting to work. The Philippines is extending its lockdown in many cities until mid-May. Last week, the country surpassed 1 million confirmed cases, stretching hospital resources, especially in the country's capital, where the outbreak is at its worst. Beds. We, we don't have enough beds. They're, they're all full already. Thailand is converting a check-in terminal in its main airport into a vaccination center. The airport has a lot of space, and the team has managed good social distancing. Bangkok recently closed public parks, gyms, and daycare centers until May the 9th and introduced fines of up to $640 for not wearing a mask in public. Pakistan is cutting 80% of incoming international flights in the next few weeks to try to curb the number of cases there. The military also stepping in to patrol the streets in cities like Lahore to enforce mask wearing and to make sure shops close at 6 p.m. Countries across the region taking measures to contain the spread of the virus, but it may not be enough for some places. Singapore announced it is tightening its entry restrictions, closing its borders to visitors from Bangladesh, Nepal, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka. Experts have pointed out that the best hope for getting out of this COVID-19 crisis is through the mass inoculation program. As you saw in that report just now, the video from Thailand, where Thailand has turned its check-in terminal at its main airport into a vaccination hub. Um, vaccinations are underway, of course, in India and in Nepal. Both programs started in January earlier this year, but the pace has been slow. In Nepal, a nation of about 29 million people, only 2 million people have been vaccinated so far. It is progress, but they have to pick up the pace. Robin. Yeah, they certainly do. Christy, thank you so much for sharing that story with us. Thank you.